Well, good morning, everybody. It's raining, therefore it's bank holiday. <laughs> yes, Easter Friday, and I'm off to the Isle of Wight. Slow ahead. I can go slow ahead. Come on down and chump some of this shit. We're going to need a bigger boat. So, yeah, it's a bit miserable this morning, so I don't really know how much footage I will be uh, kept in of this uh, trip to Portsmouth. Because you're probably not going to be able to see very much if I forget to wipe the lens. So, yeah, off to Portsmouth to catch the ferry from Portsmouth over to Fishbourne. And uh, then we're on the island and well, we'll, see what, we'll see what happens. Hopefully the weather's not going to be too much of a downer. It should be, uh, I think the weather's better for sort of tomorrow and the rest of the weekend, so it's just today that's uh, a bit rubbish, so. Yeah, it's not just me that's going. Mrs. 480 and some of our friends are also going there in the, in the car. I let them have a head start. And when I say let them have a head start, I mean I was still faffing with my gloves when they left. Welcome to Portsmouth. Home of a lot of ships. Well, that's just coming into Portsmouth now. I'm just going to follow the signs for the ferries for the Isle of Wight. I've only really been to Portsmouth a couple of times. I really should come a bit more often because uh, it is quite an interesting city. Uh, hey, yeah. Go down that way and park outside Costa Coffee, please. Yep, yeah, okay. Yeah, thought so. Motorcycles only, and they've gone and parked their own fucking van in it. Genius. Gold wing. In gold. Hey. So yeah, just leaving Portsmouth now. There's Spinnaker Tower, as you can see there. Just listening to the announcement. I think I'm on, actually on the earlier ferry. Somehow. Hopefully it's not too choppy over the crossing. I don't want my bike falling over. I thought there'd be a strap that they tie over just to uh, anchor it down, but nope, there's nothing. It's just parked there on its side stand. Hopefully it's not too bumpy. Anyway, I'll leave it there. I'll cut you back in when we're uh, over the other side. Well, here we are at Fishbourne, just waiting to disembark. Ah, right, let's see what this place is all about. Okay. Let's follow all traffic, I guess. Right, yeah. <laughs> um, I somehow got onto the earlier ferry, so uh, so everyone in the car that's coming over are actually uh, about half hour, 40 minutes behind, so uh, I've got to wait for them. See if we can find somewhere decent to, uh, to stop. Right, well, this is it. Um, <laughs> kind of abroad. I didn't bring my passport. Oh, I hope they accept British pounds as currency. I don't even know what the language is in this foreign place. Okay, enough of the uh, enough of the foreign island nonsense. The Sloop Inn. There's a pub. That will do. If in doubt, go to the pub. Oh, fucking hell, gravel, don't slip on that. Jeez. I don't want to be dropping my bike in f on foreign turf. Right. Oh. Hmm. Cheeky half. Nah, best just have a Coke. Mm. 
I'm never selling any ice cream going at that speed. Right, had a bit of a drink and a game of pool in the pub. Now we're off to uh, find our accommodation for the weekend. It's very strange because it feels like I've travelled so far, but my trip computer, my trip computer, computer on this bike, get out of town. And my trip gauge, my trip gauge is known I've only done 55 miles. <laughs> it's very weird. Well, I'll take a guess and say there should be a nice view there, but it's a bit misty. <laughs> so, uh, I don't really know. In fact, you probably can't see anything anyway, because the lens is all... There we go. Oh, look at that view of nothing. <laughs> Put your lights on, you idiot. Ah, a motorcycle dealer. The Chippy. How original. Well, the weekend went really fast. That's the cottage we were staying in. Very lovely, nice and just small and cosy. It's, uh, it was a nice little getaway. Ah, here we go, back home then. Well, I'm going via Newport to have some breakfast somewhere. <laughs> oh, dead rabbit. So yeah, it's, it's been a good little break away. Uh, went down to the Needles, which is uh, just this outcrop of land with uh, some spectacular rock formations and also uh, a rocket testing site used to be there so uh, learn a bit of history there they used to uh, test fire some rockets there during the cold war and also uh, some of it was useful for some of the space missions as well for like apollo 11 and all that lot so yeah very interesting stuff but yeah th uh, just a weekend uh, was not long enough really there's so much to do and see here um, but there's loads we've missed out on. So uh, we'll definitely be coming back here again, I think. I certainly will, if I get the opportunity. Yeah, so much to see on this uh, tiny island. And the sort of spectacular scenery as well, some great views for the roads. I mean, some of the roads look amazing to be um, biking on. I mean, the only riding I've been doing is here around back, really. I didn't really uh, get a chance to get out and ride just uh, on my own. So uh, that can be done at a future date. Good thing about where we were staying, it was because uh, it's in the, kind of in the middle of nowhere, um, it's nice and quiet, but also we're still walking distance to the pub, and it was a good pub. And uh, we had Easter lunch there, and oh, amazing food. And I thought the meal I had the night before, uh, on Saturday, I thought, uh, what did I have? I had a, uh, this double burger. And, oh, it was amazing. Oh, it was a, it was a proper gut buster. <laughs> but it was really good. And uh, I thought I wouldn't top that. But I think the uh, the meal I had yesterday, well, good stuff. Really good stuff. Volvo 480. <laughs> All 
awesome. <laughs> I've got the R1. I've seen a 480. That's uh, marvellous. Well, that was uh, a nice breakfast. It was only at a Weatherspoons, but and I, I hate Weatherspoons to be honest. I mean, only you know, going there for a drink, and I I hate going there. I just do not like them. Um, but you can't argue that um, the beer is usually cheap, and uh, yeah, they do do a nice breakfast for really cheap. So uh, yeah, you can't really complain at that. So it's all good. Right, so we're off to Fishbourne now to catch the ferry back over to the mainland. It's really gone. It's gone really warm. I just took the thermal liner out from my jacket because I am quite hot now and I'm looking forward to actually getting some movement going. I've got the sunroof open on the helmet, so that should help. Ooh. Ooh, it really is hot. I'm go I am going to have to uh, get the thermals out of my trousers as well. I am burning up and pretty soon I'm going to be in the queue and stuff for the ferry so hopefully, I, hopefully that'll allow filtering. Otherwise I'm just going to melt. I have, yes. One o'clock, number 12, please. 12. Thank you. I mean, the Goldwing crew. Time to get on the ferry. Yeah, I've managed to find the, uh, that gold Goldwing and trailer that uh, were on the ferry on the way over here. Same person. <laughs> him up front. <laughs> what are the chances, eh? It's amazing really how they fit all these cars onto one ferry like that. When you see them coming down the queues here and you think there's loads and there's no way they're going to be all for this ferry. Yeah, they, they get them all on somehow. Plenty of bikes about. I've seen plenty over the weekend actually. Loads on the island. I think the gold wings are having some kind of uh, some kind of thing going on with their radios. They're talking to each other through the built-in radios or something. I don't know. I'll keep these squealing and radio noises. This is a gold wing with a sidecar and a trailer. That is that is epic. proper touring thing unfortunately <laughs> still something that will get stuck in traffic I'm afraid I feel like I'm part of a ride out <laughs> I do not belong here I did not have a gold wing Right, back in Portsmouth. Bye bye, Goldwing friends. Same time next year, guys. <laughs> hey, you never know. Uh, right, I can now do filtering because I haven't got to wait for the car. And the car knows where they're going, so. Look at all these Goldwings that can't filter. <laughs> 
Sorry, guys. I was never really a fan of gold wings, but from what I've seen today, all them lot, it's, they are, they're actually uh, quite a fascinating bike. Definitely the sort of thing you want if you're going like across America or something like that. Route 66. I've joined the Harleys now. <laughs> That's a good place for mirrors. Can you see them on that one in front? Just below the handlebars. I bet he gets a right good rear view there. Coca-Cola Vespa. <laughs> Didn't notice that before. Well, I'm almost home now, and it's been quite a little adventure, me and the bike. So uh, I, I hope you enjoy whatever I've made of this video, what I've managed to uh, put together. I don't know uh, how, quite how I'm going to do it yet, but I guess we'll we'll see how that turns out. Anyway, whatever happens, I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching. So yeah, maybe in the future I'll go back there and get some more footage because uh, there's some really good biking roads over there and uh, yeah, I didn't really get to taste some of those, unfortunately but I'm sure I will do later on in the year, maybe next year, something like that Anyway Right safe everyone, see you again soon This is a nice little group, six of us yeah. So uh, we've got Crazy Mook, Riptide 268, the Sussex Biker, and uh, two people who are new to me, and I didn't catch their names because I'm an idiot. <laughs>